Hello and welcome to another Power Tools video. Today we want to look at how we can update process instance data fields on the fly. So rather than needing to start a new process entirely or copy the process and start it again with updated workflow variable fields, one thing that we can do through Power Tools using the error fixer is quickly update these fields on the fly which will take effect immediately. So as we can see here, this particular activity being the GM approval cannot be reached because there's an issue with this particular data field. So there needs to be a value there. So one thing we can do is press the error fixer and enter the relevant information that we wish to be contained within these data fields. So for example, I'll select a relevant user. I can then press the update button to commit these changes. If we refresh now, we can go back to the instance that we are currently working with. We can use filtering to quickly access instances within the instances space. And if we look at our data view, we can double check to make sure that those data fields were updated and we can see that they were. If I press the retry button now and refresh, we can check out to see whether or not updating that particular workflow variable field has resolved the issue and we can see that it's no longer an error which means that particular instance is now active. Here we have the instance available and if we scroll down we can see that this particular activity is now available and is operating as expected. So that's a quick way that we can resolve errors within workflow instances that may occur as a result of a lack of data or incorrect data being present for that particular instance. Thanks for watching.